Well, hello, all of my beautiful, beautiful, illustrious, amazing, wonderful, intelligent, sophisticated friends on the internet. Thank you guys so much for coming back and tuning in to another episode of the Reddit Asks Us podcast. Now, before we head into this podcast, if you're watching or listening on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever else you get your podcasts, make sure to leave us a rating and also please leave us a review. I am your host, Luke Dick, and welcome back, everybody. Welcome into a new week. Let's usher in a new week, everybody. It is, what, Tuesday? (laughs) I hope it's Tuesday. Yeah, we're ushering in a new week. Hopefully, this episode might get you along in your weekly endeavors for a solid 30 minutes or so. 20, 30 minutes. I'm excited to be back, guys. I'm excited to be talking to you guys, and I want to thank again everybody who's been listening into the show. Thank you for all the new listeners. Thank you for any repeat listeners. I really appreciate everybody tuning into the show. The audience size has grown uh, just within the last month or so by a significant amount, so I am uh, very excited to have that news and to have all of you guys tuning into the episodes. I know the content's changed over the past little bit, but I hope that is not a deal breaker because I like doing all sorts of content related to this type of podcast. So without further ado, why don't we get into today's episode? But again, I do want to give out a, uh, a nice thanks and praise to all of my all of my listeners. I really appreciate that you guys tune in every week to listen to the show. Alrighty, so... Let's get right into it. So this one comes from the main Ask Reddit page. Uh, This one is actually new from this week, uh, just just yesterday. And it is, what is a clear sign that you are getting older? Now, I don't know why this one stuck out to me. It was one of the first ones I saw, but, you know, it kind of stuck out to me for more than just, you know, the reason that, you know, it was one of the first ones that I saw, it kind of stuck out to me because getting older is just like a natural part of life. You know, it is, it's one of those things that it's inevitable. You can't change it. And I think just even as months and years pass for myself, like I'm just beginning to gain, excuse me, gain different perspectives and have different outlooks and trying to be more empathetic and more understanding of other people's perspectives and other people's uh, life experiences and situations. And, you know, I think as I'm getting older, it's just these are things that are starting to happen naturally. I can only assume that that's that sort of stuff is only going to increase right as I'm, you know, 20 years old right now. But who knows what I'm what my perspectives would be like when I'm 30. You know, um, I can only hope that I've gained more knowledge and gain more insight and um, hopefully become a wiser person as I get older. And I hope that is the same for everybody, right? But uh, getting older is a weird thing. It is a weird thing. And, and it's strange how there are natural phenomenon that are just associated with getting older. So that's kind of why this one stuck out to me. And also, I think it also stuck out to me because during this COVID pandemic, I feel like my life has just fast forwarded. Like one day I was like 18 years old, you know, just do going about my life, doing my thing. Uh, Excuse me. I, I don't know why I'm so tired this morning, fellas. <sighs> Ladies and gents, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, one day, you know, I'm just I'm just an 18 year old kid. I'm going to school. I'm doing my thing. And then, you know, a pandemic hits out of absolutely nowhere. We're thrust into a lockdown. I'm forced to go back home. And I basically feel like those two years um, have been low-key just stolen out of my life. And it feels like my aging process has kind of sped up because it's just like those two years have just fast-forwarded and now here I am at 20 years old and you know, I mean, of course, I'm doing different things than when I was 18 years old, because obviously life goes on. But yeah, it just, it definitely feels like the aging process is sped up. Like one thing I've noticed for sure is that, you know, during COVID, 
it was difficult to like I love to play basketball. That's like my my favorite sport, my favorite uh, athletic thing to to do to pass time. And during the COVID pandemic, there was pretty much no way to play basketball. And I spent a lot of time like lifting weights, working out and stuff like that. But I realized that once I started going back to play basketball, I had the opportunity to go back and play basketball. Um, you know, I feel like my, my body wasn't exactly the same as it was even just two years ago. You know, whenever I'd get like a, a little bit of a knee injury, it'd feel like it would go away in a couple of weeks or I could just play through it. And now it feels like, no, it's actually important that I ice it and that I, you know, actually elevate it and do all the things that you're supposed to do when you get injuries. Because otherwise that, you know, my knees that hurts for you know, a day will turn into a week if it, if it, if I don't, if I don't actually treat it and rest it and stuff, which can be extremely frustrating and quite annoying. And I'm only going to assume that's going to keep happening as, uh, as I get old, as I get older. But anyways, let's get into some of these comments, everybody. All right. Now keep in mind, also, I am 20 years old and uh, a lot of these comments are coming from people who are a little bit older than me, so shout out to all my older audience, my older f uh, folks who tune into the show, um, because these might be more relatable than what I can relate to, but it's just interesting for me to hear this sort of stuff, because I know this is inevitable for me, so it's probably going to come along sooner, sooner or later. So, first comment comes from Devraj7, haven't gone to a wedding in a long time, have gone to a few friends' funerals though. <laughs> dot 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 uh frowny face um yeah i i haven't been to too many funerals quite yet but uh yeah that is that is definitely something you'll start to see as you get older it's weird how those progressions sort of happen in your life you know i'm assuming over the next couple of years over this next decade i'm probably gonna see a lot of my friends getting married and uh then over the next 20, 30 years, you'd probably see a lot of the same people, you know, or even just other people in your life, probably not necessarily the same people, but other people in your life pass away, which is just crazy. Um, so this next comment comes from Year of the Honey Badger. 40 is a weird age. Everyone older says you're so young. Everyone younger thinks you're so old. I wouldn't say so old. I wouldn't say that. I don't think a 40 year old is so old. Uh, maybe if you're like, I don't know, still going and doing things that young people do, uh, like going to the clubs and stuff, then people will be like, oh, dude, you're like really old. Why are you here? But I wouldn't say 40 is like really old. If you're doing your, the things that you enjoy and like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. Don't be too hard on yourself. Um, but somebody, yeah, so JD838777 comments under uh, and replies and says, Congratulations, at 40, you're legally an older adult as defined by the Age Discrimination Employment Act. So I guess technically speaking, you are a older aged adult. So this next one comes from Srini Thomas. Uh, when you've seen multiple decades of fashion trends come back into play with the young crowd. This is what my mom talks about all the time. She's like, oh, yeah, we used to wear those like loose fitting jeans and high waisted jeans and stuff like that all the time back in the 80s. And now they're back. But it's interesting because fashion trends often as they come back, there's a sort of spin on it. There's a little spin. So I think this next comment um captures that phenomenon a little bit so this uh is a reply from wadi wasi um i laughed when i saw a pair to pair of uh j and co jeans being sold as vintage ultra baggy denim in a trendy secondhand shop near work uh, it boggled my mind that people actually wanted to wear those again. But my 20-something-year-old co-worker was like, oh, yeah, they go for like a few hundred bucks or more now. Uh, they showed <laughs> Then I showed the youngsters a pic of how impractical garbage they were if I wore them in the rain, snow, and uh, developing a heel strap after about a month of dragging on the ground. Uh, they all still want them and say, it's so cool because no one wears them that long anymore. Case in point, the next day I saw a teen wearing a pair, only they stopped just above her ankles. Uh, didn't think that look could get worse, but the kids have gone and done it. Just so you're saying, Wadi Wasi, 
actually I think that style is nice. The it's a it's the baggy jean that cuts off below your ankles so you can see your socks. That's like the point is so that you can like see like a white sock or a black sock uh and that it kind of like you know feeds into the into the shoe but yeah like of course no one wants no one wants the jeans that's it's 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 it's, it's an improvement it's it, i i don't understand why this comment like this is an improvement i understand that they might not be that way when you were younger but when you have the you have a looser baggier fitting jean and they then they don't go down as low like you're right they're not gonna get as dirty as they would uh it or it might and it also it it adds more contrast a little bit to your outfit when you when you expose the your sock a little bit uh and then you can show off your entire sneaker because that's a huge i mean sneakers have been a thing since obviously like that's when they really started to become a thing was in the 80s and 90s for sure but now sneakers have been a thing right so there's so many sneakers to wear uh there's so many choices for style so you kind of want to it depends on what sneaker you wear but you kind of want to show off your sneakers as well so if you're wearing pants that go and drag down super low like you'll be hiding like say if you're wearing a pair of air jordan ones um like high top air jordan ones if you if you put if you put your pant leg all the way over them uh you know it's gonna it's gonna you know hide the shoe and and that that is a style in and of itself um but not too low though like you don't want it the pants to be dragging on the ground maybe just a bit over the pant leg but not drag not drag or a bit over the top of the sneaker but not dragging on the ground but it's yeah embrace that embrace that of course we're we're constantly it's like uh it's like the concept of sampling in music right it's that uh you know things are constantly being sampled so old samples are being sampled now and and samples that are being taken now are maybe so- songs of of songs that have sampled from older songs right so you're sampling sampled songs right it's it's we're constantly reduce re- reduce reuse recycle you know what i mean reduce something to what its core uh you know sort of idea is uh reuse it in your own way and like recycle it into something new that's it's this it's this it's a story as old as time right it's it just constantly keeps happening but it's cool to see it happening with culture so i gotta say that i disagree with with wadi wasi i think that's a little bit of a little bit of a cynical perspective um but uh, maybe those genes didn't work out for you very well so i don't want to impose on your life experiences anyways let's move on so this one oh this one was interesting so this one came comes from any Oh, geez, I can't pronounce that second word. Um, Anyways, they say, when they tear down a building that you remember getting built, oof, that one would probably hurt. And it's like, dang, like, there's, there's, I see buildings, like, there's an old building just down the street that's, like, on, on Barrington Street here in Halifax, and, and it's, and it's getting torn down, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, some of these buildings were built, you know, early 1900s. It's totally like uh, believable to think that somebody or you know, as a kid could have remembered that building being built and now it's like run down and they're tearing it down and and it's like, "Oh, wow. That is a if there's mo- if there's a moment that sums up, sums up like a whole lifetime, it's got to be that. It's got to be that. That's crazy. Like uh oh yeah, and so then there's a reply coming down uh saying uh, from thinking guard saying haven't experienced that but i feel though because when you used to work in uh you, when you worked in a place in your hometown that is now a parking lot wow yeah there's this this i had a couple people tell me about this is where i used to live there's like a where my house is <laughs> literally where my house is where my parents house is the house that i spent my teenage years in um that exact same lot used to be an old hospital and I, and I would talk to people and they asked me where I would live and I'd say oh I live on blah 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 street and they're like oh I used to work at the hospital there and now it's like torn down it's completely gone and like it's funny because there's this little like forest area or just like just small little forest area in right in front of my house and uh, and it stretches the whole block and if you go into that forest area there's actually like wooden uh wooden posts for when people would park like you know like you know when you go to a parking lot and you know it says someone's name on a little on a little like wooden or metal stand right in front of a parking space and it says like reserved parking for somebody or something like that yeah there's like still those old wooden 
um, I don't know what you would call them, but old wooden uh, stop stops or whatever uh right in front of the like right actually like grown into the bushes it's it's kind of interesting um and then yeah so then we get a reply from cc452 that says my elementary school got torn turned got uh torn down and turned into condos oh that's weird uh i haven't so i i moved away from a small town that i grew up in when i was about 11 years old and I've never, I don't, I don't think I've ever been back to that town since I was 12 to visit once. I haven't had the, I haven't really passed through it. I've have no, I've had no reason to go through it. I've had really no reason much to go back. Um, but it, I am going to be interested though, because when I, I think as I, when I get a little bit older, I'm going to go back and just like see what's changed, see, like, look around, is the town even going to be still there anymore? I have no idea, but, but it's going to be interesting, because who knows, man, because I think about that elementary school, and I'm like, well, why would it have to disappear? I think about the high school there, why would it have to disappear? But you never know, because, you know, life happens, whether you're there, or whether you're not, and, and, and that happens all over the place, and so who knows, man, maybe that elementary school could get torn down, and I could drive into the town and be like, what the actual heck am I, where I spent my elementary school years is totally gone, or maybe it might be completely renovated, who knows, but uh, those types of, uh, those types of uh, situations would be kind of trippy, so this next one is from Carol Athome, Carol Athome, uh, when I watched professional sports and all the players look like children, baseball, football, tennis, etc., <laughs> and, then, oh, and then there's a Oh, yeah, so then there's an, another comic from ATHD. You start doing the math and realize you're basically watching a glorified Pee Wee game. <laughs> and it's, the reason why this one stuck out to me, too, is because uh, me and my friends host a, host a basketball podcast, Rap Chat Podcast, if you're a Raptors fan or an NBA basketball fan, if you want to tune into that, Rap Chat Podcast. So a plug. So anyways, uh, the, well, the reason why this comment stuck out to me, too, is because, you know, I, I, ho I host a sports podcast, and... It's so interesting because some of the best players that are coming up right now and who are going to be the future of the NBA, superstars, you know what I'm saying? Like every generation has its Michael Jordans, its LeBron James, the Kobe Bryants, like, you know what I'm saying? Everyone, every generation has its, you know, superstar caliber level players. And this year, you know, <laughs> those those you, it's so weird because those potential superstar level caliber players are my age like there's a so there's a, a a basketball player who was drafted to the Toronto Raptors and his name is Scotty Barnes and he's just unreal he's he could be runner up for rookie of the league this year um, I don't know if he'll get it but he definitely should be at least in second place and he's 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 amazing. He's so good, and he's going to be a future superstar. Like if everything goes well, he will be a future superstar in the sport. But the weird thing is, is that he's the same age as me. He looks like a grown ass man out on the court there, right there. But he's the same age as me. And so only like it's gonna be weird because as I get older, you know, as I'm gonna be kind of like 40, 50 years old, I'm gonna be watching basketball and all these. I'm gonna be watching a bunch of kids playing. You know what I'm saying? Like these people, I'm gonna, these I'm I'll be like 40. I'm watching a bunch of 20 to 30 year olds play basketball. And it's just going to be so weird because, you know, at one point, as a kid, you look up to these players, right? You look up to them as your role models and, you, and your, your uh, you know, the people who you, who you, who you uh, admire, right? But as you get older, those people become younger, right? And, and I'm thinking to myself, like, like <laughs> it's one thing when you're 12 years old and you get to see the evolution of a player like Stephen Curry through, through the NBA, but or any sport, right? It's one thing because I don't want to limit this to just basketball. Make this sound like I'm trying to reference basketball. That's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to say is that, like, when you're 12 years old and you idealize a person and you watch that person grow until you're 20 years old, you're watching the progression of a, of, of an eight year or say even 10 years from your 10 years old to 20 years old. You're watching that whole person's decade worth of of whatever that they do, whereas. And so you progress and see them as as a as an elevated sort of character or as a, an admirable character in your mind because you're a young person, you're watching them in their age. Whereas now, for a person who's who's 
new on the scene, say somebody like Scotty Barnes, I, <laughs> it's not like I get to watch his progression through a period of time in my life that I am, you know, forming my, my role models and stuff. I'm watching him at the, sa at the same pace that I'm aging. So I, I won't get to see the peak of his career like I got to see the peak of Stephen Curry's career when I was in high school. I'll get to see the peak of his career as I age myself, which is just weird to think about. You know, because it seems like the years pass by so fast, right? And it's just going to be, it, it almost feels like it's going to take too long because I'm going to be like expecting so much of him, but I'm going to be like, God damn it, he's only 21 years old. Like, I'm going to wait, I'm going to have to wait till I'm 26 to see this guy do well. <laughs> like, I mean, like he'll do well before that. But what I'm saying is, yeah, like, like I'm going to have to wait till like I'm 26, 27 years old to see him being in his like prime elite. And that works with like all across anything, right? Like, it's just weird. I find that to just be like a super weird thing that I'm going to like, you know, have to watch over my own lifetime to see somebody get better <laughs> at something. Um, so this next one comes from Wood Barber. So 58 male, where do I start? 30s, didn't brush off that wipeout on my bike like I did in my 20s. Oof. Uh, 40s, had to stop eating like I was 20 and visits to the family physician became much more frequent. <laughs> 50s takes much longer to get out of bed back and and back and joints ache continually and as i approach my 60s my friends and family pool is getting smaller as they start to pass on rest in peace to all of your friends and family sir spend more time reminiscing about the past than looking into the future life goes by quick don't waste it well i really appreciate that wood barber because you know, I think we're all looking for a little a, a little advice like this. And, and what comments like this tend to help me with is perspective. You know, it's it is the idea that that you know we're not we won't live forever, and you know people are mortal, and life is life is not one of these things that that lasts forever. And and even throughout your life, as life sort of begins its and starts and and continues its progression you're not going to feel the same. You're always going to be feeling a little bit different based on how old you are and, you know, the life experiences that you've had and what natural aging does to a person's brain, mind, and perspective. So then we have a reply coming from Harry Erectus. Oof, with the username. But <laughs> your little uh, avatar is pretty cool, though. Um, says a quote from Andy Bernard. <laughs> I wish, I'm not sure if that's Andy Bernard from The Office or like this is an actual person. I don't remember. Um, I wish there was, I think this is probably from The Office. I wish there was a day to know you were in the good old days before you've actually left them. I'll be 35 in four days and I miss all my old friends that had, uh, I miss all my old friends uh, that had families and moved on. And then there's another reply from Sierra419 that says, if your friends are anything like me, they think about you and all the good times they had, <laughs> but never bring themselves to bother you by reaching out. And I think, you know, it's weird. It's weird because this one kind of stuck out to me as well because, you know, at least with my generation, growing up with social media and things like, you know, Snapchat and Instagram and all this stuff, like, it, I'm, I could be pretty much be constantly connected to to. to pretty much everybody I've ever known in my entire life, like significantly, I, I could reach out to in an instant and be able to communicate with them, which is which is a weird thing, right? Because like for my parents, you know, they grew up in the 80s and the 90s. And they, their only way of contacting people was pretty much through telephones and through like people's phone numbers and those change and they move and you never know where they are then you have to get a hold of their parents and then you, or sending letters and all that sort of stuff like whereas with us we like pretty I can go on my snap maps and look and see where all my friends are right now so that that is it is weird but I have to say though it is still true though that as you get older no matter what even through social media like I see my friends still posting on social media and all that stuff but I don't I don't talk to my friends from high school who are still really great friends of mine uh, as much as I used to, I mean, we we talk every once in a while, but but we definitely don't talk as much as we used to, and and it's and I can only assume that's going to increase over the next couple of years, and and yeah, you gotta you gotta hope that, you know, the the most important thing is that like 
the memories that, I, that, that we did create, at least that I, like, this is the most important thing to me, at least, is that the memories that we did create, I didn't create those memories with anybody else but those people, right? So when I think about those memories, and when I reminisce on them as good times, I, the, there's only a few people that come to mind when I think of who I spent those times with. And I think that's what, that's what really what makes it, that's what's important for me. You know, I don't necessarily think that being in constant contact with somebody all the time is, ne- is the best way to, to sh- you know, show your friendship. And it's, it's making sure that you remind yourself of those gr- of, of who, who you spent those good times with and, and who, um, you know, that you were able to grow with and be friends with and, and experience certain things with. I think that's what's really the most important because the memory is what's is what's real, right? The memory is, is something that's that actually happened. That is that's the core, right? I mean it's always good to reach out to your friends, but um and 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 definitely don't think that they're bothering you because I could reach out to any one of my friends and know exactly that I'm not bothering and them they're not bothering me. I love having getting a FaceTime out of the blue from some friends of mine. It's it's a nice feeling. But uh, yeah, like, uh, you know, the memories and the is is what is memories are more important than you might think, you know. And I think that's a because you can't ever remake those memories. You only get the chance to be, you know, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen years old once, right? And you might as well savor those memories for what they are. I feel so bad for the kids now who are coming up in COVID and they don't get any of these, you know, wild high school experience. And me and my friends, not that we were super wild, but just free, free experiences, right? There's, there's restrictions placed on people's lives, you know? Yeah. And of course you have, you have to work within that. And it's, it's tough because it, it doesn't feel as, as feng shui as, and or as natural as, as when we were in high school, because there was no real outside forces to try to restrict our movement, right? And our lives. Um, whereas, you know, nowadays there's outside forces at work to do that. So yeah, it loses this sort of natural p- progression and natural flow to a, to a life. So this is an interesting one. This one's from George Washingtons. Uh, you were more aware of others wasting their time. And then a reply from Forrest Mage 5. Yes, and they're wasting your time. <laughs> uh, that's, I mean, I feel like, as I get older, like even just myself, like sometimes I'll get into conversations with people and I'm just like, oh, I, I just, I, I know I, I objectively have time for this, but I don't want to make time for this. Like, I just don't want to be having this conversation because, you know, there's only so much that you can communicate to a person before it's just like, I can't even bother with this anymore. But uh, I thought about this comment in a little bit of a different way, too. You know, I th- one of my first thoughts when I saw George Washington with this reply, you know, you're more aware of others wasting their time. Uh, you know, just thinking to yourself that, you know, you might see somebody and, and they might have ambition or goals or something and you just see them maybe not making moves or an effort to be able to accomplish or achieve certain goals. And, and well, you know, everyone's life is their own and it's not necessarily anybody's right to say that, you know, that somebody's throwing their life away because everyone has a different journey and everyone has different experiences and it's, and it, there's no objective good about a life and there's no objective bad about a life, right? Things just happen in the way that they do. And we make decisions based on, Um, you know, at least you hope you try to make decisions on what you think is the best for you at the time, right? And sometimes that just is, you know, that might be the way the way things go. So um, yeah, that's kind of just what I was thinking with that comment. I don't really know where I was going that going with that. But anyways, let's move on. So we've got another young, (laughs) sorry, another young. Uh, We've got another comment from the young Juan. Uh, I used to sneak out of homes to go to parties. Now I sneak out of parties to go home. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly, I can even relate to that too. Honestly, when I'm at a, when I'm at a place, like for a certain period of time, I mean, I do, trust me, I like my late nights. I do like my late nights, but there are some places that I go and if I'm not, if I'm just not feeling the vibe, if I'm not feeling it, I'm just like, bro, let me get out of here, man. This is just, I, I, I'd, I'd much rather like have fun at home. And I've, and I'm even just realizing this as I'm older too, like sometimes I just, parties can be fun, like going to a big party, 
But I got to say, at least for me personally, I really like casual situations, you know, where I've got my friends over at my place, you know, we're sitting on the couch, we're playing board games, we're throwing on a movie, you know, doing a little bit of social drinking, like, you know what I'm saying? Like just more chill type of activities rather than, you know, going out and boots, 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 you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that to me can get tiring very easy. And a lot of times those nights are overhyped. Like unless you're celebrating something, I don't know. I feel like I, it's, I find it very hard to vibe. Um, but maybe that, that could be also for many other sorts of reasons, not just limited to, to, you know, just my perspective. Um, so let's see. Oh yeah, this is a weird one. So this one comes from red eye of bull. Uh, people in positions of power being younger than you, that's got to be weird, especially because like I'm probably the generation of the people, especially even like millennials, that's probably like what they're talking about, right? It's somebody's 40 years old, 50 years old, and their boss or the CEO is like, you know, 35, and it's like, what? Like, you're a child. Like, how, how can you be running this entire company? Uh, oh yeah, and then so we got a we got a comment here from Real Stumbleweed saying your primary care physician looks like she's about seventeen. Oh, that's too funny. But um, but yeah, that's a strange power dynamic, and it's like it's the same thing I was sort of talking about with basketball too. Is that you, yeah, like you, as you know, I'm getting older. I'm gonna be watching kids playing, and that's what's gonna be entertaining is watching these young, you know, kids in their athletic peak. Uh, competing in 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 the uh, in you know the one of the most uh, competitive sp- or yeah one of the most competitive sports league and the most competitive sports league of its um, of its type of sport that exists right um, which is just going to be strange and it's already strange now that NBA players are like my age and I'm actually older than a couple of NBA players which doesn't sit well with me. Um, Okay, guys, I think I'm going to read off a couple more, but these ones are actually quite interesting. So this one comes from Katagen Sama. You start getting wisdom moments, understanding why things happened and had to, being more compassionate towards mistakes of others because you're shitty yourself and you know it. You know what? I I, I like this one, and, and that's... It's, it's, a, it's humbling, right? You know, because, yeah, like, sometimes we regret things in our lives... Or sometimes we wish things may have turned out differently, but that's such an easy perspective to have when you have hindsight. You know what I mean? Like it's so easy to say that you wish something would have went differently when you, when the moment's over, right? And you've gained perspective and you've gained insight and knowledge into why that situation's happened. Like it's so easy to be hard on yourself, you know, and under- and try and and be sad about why something didn't go a certain way. And it's, you know, I think at least for me, that's a, it's a, it's important that I tell myself, um, you know that things had to happen in the way they did and they had that and they happened the way they happened and they had to happen that way it was it was the reason why things happened and I had to learn from those situations I had to you know gain knowledge from that and gain wisdom from those experiences because it's it's my choice whether I reflect on those experiences right it's my choice whether I am am going to use those experiences in order to inform my experiences in the future and some people you know, that realization comes earlier, some comes later, some are better at it than others. And, and like, I can't say that, that, you know, because hindsight, hindsight can, is, is not like a timed thing, right? Like I might gain hindsight in, in, to my actions that were like of three years ago and be like, oh, that's why that happened. It's not like a year after you gain hindsight, right? It's, it happens at a different pace for everybody. But I feel like I try to take those moments of hindsight in and, and really try to use that to perspective and knowledge to my advantage. Because, um, yeah, man, like, <laughs> it is important to, to, to don't be, you know, not be so hard on yourself and not to, not to belittle yourself in, in the process of trying to make better decisions in the future, right? It's, you can't change the past. You can only, you know, hope for the future and, and make decisions for yourself in the future. So, uh, I like that comment. I really think that's some really wise advice, uh, Kata Jinsama. So, Okay, everybody, and our last one here will be from Great Auror, or Great Great Auror, Great Auror, uh, 28. You turn down the radio to see better. Okay, everybody, thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of the podcast. I love you all, my beautiful friends on the internet. And 
Just before we head out of the podcast, if you're watching or listening on YouTube, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and also to subscribe. And if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever else you get your podcasts, make sure to leave us a rating and also leave us a review. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok at Reddit Asks Us Podcast. And before we head out of here, I am your host, Luke Dick. I will see you guys next week. Peace out and have fun. Later.